pick up Ace King Offsuit Under the Gun plus two. The player on my right is first to act and raises to 120. I could call her three bet, it's good to mix it up. Here I just call. We're heads up, the flop is King 10 6 with two clubs. We have a sneaky top top. The opponent down bets to 100. Okay, I call. The turn is the five of diamonds, it's a nice break for us. I'm surprised to see that the opponent fires for 700. It's over a pot size bet. It's one of the benefits of not three betting 100% of your strong hands pre-flop because occasionally you'll be in a situation like this when your opponent will blast away on boards that you normally won't connect with all that well. I'm not guaranteed to have the winner though. I could actually be drawing dead or close to dead if I'm up against a set or two pair hand, but I get the sense that under the gun plus one is semi bluffing with clubs or a hand like ace queen. Seems like he's trying to get a fold out of me. Not gonna happen here. I make the call. The pot has become a sizable one. The river is the three of hearts. All major draws are missed. The opponent checks, he appears to have given up on a bluff attempt, or maybe he has a monster like a set of 10s or king 10, and is trying to induce a bluff from me if I called on the previous streets with a drawing hand. I'm having a hard time thinking of a holding that under the gun plus one will show up with that I'm beating, that can also call a bet given how this has been played. I doubt he'd have overbet pot on the turn with king 9 or king jack, maybe he'll have king queen sometimes and can call, but that's about it. Since I don't want to get check raised in a pot that's already large enough for only one pair, I somewhat reluctantly check back, knowing that it could have gone for value. The opponent shows that he has ace-queen offsuit with a queen of clubs, which is the type of semi-bluff hand that I suspected he might have. We show that we had him beat the entire way. I'm not doing anything too special. I'm just getting dealt great cards, and more importantly, I've been getting great runouts. Okay. Thank you. With this win, I have a massive profit of $11,000. It can be nerve-wracking to take a shot in the higher stakes games. There's a lot of risk. Today, we get rewarded though. It's been a dream session. We've got 26,000 in front of us. It's the most that I've ever had at the table. I play a little longer, but I push myself to the limit. It's time to rack up for what's by far the biggest win of my life.